2018 and open seats are all the rage. Open seats are important because it decreases the number of well-funded, entrenched incumbents Democrats must defeat to win the majority. But a closer look at some of these open seats reveals that not all open seats are created equal, and there is a method to the ratings madness. California Republican Ed Royce recently announced he would not seek re-election to his Southern California district. Since Hillary Clinton won it over Donald Trump in 2016, it is viewed as a tremendous opportunity for Democrats. But in 2012, Mitt Romney carried it, and Republican Elizabeth with Emkin won it against Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, even though she lost statewide by 25 points. All this casts some doubt on Democratic chances this year. We changed the inside elections rating of California 39 from lean Republican to toss-up until the GOP field to replace Roy solidifies. In contrast, Republican Ileana ross Layton's retirement was brutal for the GOP. Clinton won her South Florida district by 20 points in 2016, and President Obama won it by 7 points in 2012. And in Washington state, Republican Dave Reichert's retirement put his 8th district in peril for the GOP. Clinton won it by 3 points, and Obama carried it by two points. Inside Elections already has both races rated as takeovers for Democrats. When moderate Republican Rep Charlie Dent announced his retirement, it sent shockwaves through Pennsylvania and Washington, D.C. But considering Trump carried the 15th district by eight points and Romney carried it by three points, it may not be catastrophic for Republicans. It's a similar story in Michigan 11, where GOP Rep Dave Trott is not seeking re-election. Trump and Romney carried his district as well by five points each. Both districts are rated as lean Republican for now. Now, history isn't always the best predictor of future results, but in the absence of enough current district-level data, past elections and the fundamentals of a district can be a guide. That's why Democrats would have an advantage in an open seat in a Clinton-Obama district versus a Trump-Romney district. All that being said, Republicans might lose all of these seats. In many of these districts, Democrats have credible candidates, sometimes a crowd of them, who could outpace the recent Democratic performance. And the national political environment could deteriorate to the point where all the distinctions I just talked about don't even matter. This is one of my favorite parts of the election cycle. For a year, we've argued over scenarios and which districts are vulnerable and whether candidates are weak or strong. Now we'll start to get more polling, Voters will select nominees and primaries, current data will outweigh past results, and our ratings will adjust to reflect the dynamics in each district. Because what is actually happening is more important than what could or should be happening.